Good morning, Dr. Iodine125. How are you? As a radioisotope of iodine, I'm feeling fabulous. Today, 59.4 days after my creation, is the anniversary of my half-life. Well, congratulations. Are you doing anything to celebrate? No, just producing low-energy gamma radiation as per usual. Gamma radiation? What's that? Gamma radiation or gamma rays are admitted from my nucleus when I begin to decay. They are the most energetic wave in the electromagnetic spectrum, and they travel at the speed of light. Gamma radiation is the strongest and most penetrating form of radiation. Oh, I get it. Now on to you. I'm not very acquainted with your condition, but as the medical radioisotope iodine-125, my uses are A. Nuclear medicine imaging. This is where an x-ray is taken after I'm inserted into your jugular vein and attach myself onto the proteins in your blood. B. Biological assays to find out the strength of a drug. C. Scanning and imaging of the thyroid gland. D. Brachiotherapy. This is the process of using radiation therapy to treat prostate, lung, brain, neck, and pancreas cancers. In brachiotherapy, I implement myself into your body when I'm in seed form and I kill cancerous tissues or growing tumors. E. Evaluating the filtration rate of your kidneys. And F. Diagnosing deep vein thrombosis in your feet. Well, Doc, I have prostate cancer. Ha, huh, I'm just kidding. I actually have brain cancer. Well then, I think option D would be the best option for you. If you choose this option, then you need to be aware of the benefits. Alright, Doc. What are your benefits? Well, I can be used in a variety of medical studies, such as dentistry. When I'm in the form of seed implants, I have shorter operative time, faster recovery, lower medical cost, and am a safer technique to delay tumor growth than any other method. I also prolong life expectancy for patients. That's great! But there are also some disadvantages. Being radioactive means it is dangerous if humans are exposed to me. Because of my low energy gamma rays, I am not beneficial for external imaging. Due to my relatively long half-life, I am radioactive for longer periods of time, which can be harmful when inside the body. Also, during long periods of radiation exposure, I convert into iodine-126, so I can no longer be used for medicinal purposes due to my new beta particle emissions. Also, workers exposed to me for long periods of time without protective gear could be harmed, and if I'm not stored or handled properly, the results aren't good. Oh. In the end, the advantages outweigh the disadvantages because the benefits are of bigger value than the problems. In most cases, you can control the spread of my radiation by using reactors, and when handled properly, by using the correct precautions such as lead coverings and laboratory clothing, I am of greater aid to medical research. Okay then, Doctor. I'm ready for your help.